Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we'll go over some if and else statements in Visual Basic. So to get started, we're going to double click on the VB. And since our definition is going to evolve into the staircase, we want to know if our our tread and our rise is to code. And to do that, we'll use an if and else statement. So I'm going to type in if the rise is less than or equal to 8 and if the tread is greater than or equal to 9 then print print code pass else print code fail so from the inputs of rise and the tread from our sliders it'll, the code will read it and if anything is greater than 8 or less than 9 it will print out code fail but if it follows the true of, truth of the code then it will print out code pass also using and you can also use or depending on what you want for your if and else statements to do an if and else you always have to have an if followed by a restriction or a condition and then then and then what you want to do with that restriction and then the opposite else what you should do instead of it you can always end the if without the else so we'll click OK now and now it says code fail because our tread is I mean our rise is bigger than 8 so now it passes and if our treads less than 9 it fails but what if we want to know if the rise is failing and not the tread. To do that we'll have two if and else statements. So to correct that we'll go back into the VB. We'll delete the and tread greater than 9. And I'll re-edit this to be rise code pass. And then here we'll say rise code fail. And then I'll write another if statement. If the tread is greater than or equal to 9, then print code, tread, tread code, pass. Else print tread code fail. I'm also assuming that you guys know how to, to type out print statements from the previous tutorial for the Visual Basic. And since now we have two if statements, we can figure out which of the code is failing or passing. So I'll hit OK. And now it inputs into the to the panel. So we have a tread code less than 9, it'll say it's failing. And if we have a, a rise code greater than 8, it says fail. So now there's other ways of doing if and else statements you can nest if and else statements within an if statement and but since this this is just the basics of if and else we'll go into the nested stuff later and that's the that's how you write an if and else statement and thanks for watching